Where'd those fools come from? Oh, they must be right... Yep, they are. Oh, we gotta back up a little bit. They're right above us. I wanna see if there's any power-up items... ...hidden by their nest. I don't actually recall... ...seeing this in my first run. Concentrate. Alright, so to observe the area we just blew up... Nope, nothing interesting. What a waste. Okay. Nothing of interest, but... It's good to look around your surroundings and... ...get a grasp for what's going on. You'd be surprised of what you can do in first-person mode... ...once you get down the technique. You know, definitely, I will admit... This is better with practice. Be careful of those piranha plants. Some of them are actually lively like that one. Jeez. Yep, that one's a lively one. Just keep on jumping. Don't even bother shooting, guys. Run around this giant viney spiral loop here. Uh, I was cautious about that one. <laughs> but with a little bit of training, a little bit of practice at... Launching missiles and locking on to your targets. Yeah, it's a certain feel, and it becomes pretty natural after a while. So we'll go into it like this. Switching in and out, I've heard some people say could actually give them vertigo, but that's a little excessive, I would think. I've never gotten vertigo from switching into first person and then back into third. We don't even need to bother with their nest. I doubt that it houses anything valuable to us because it's hanging over a ravine. And we can't hop over those guardrails, so... Yep, it's not as expansive and explorative as maybe the Prime games were. But it's one heck of a platformer. Whoa, boy. Don't attack me, you floating shell things. Got all these piranha plants that are in our way. That missile would be simpler, actually. What I love about this game is that missiles are unlimited. Now on this, just use the directional pad to steer, jump with the two button, and dodge those thorny spikes. But I love that missiles are unlimited. It's so nice not having to worry. Ah, damn it. About running out of powerful ammo. Alright, he's hid behind a bush. See, look at this. I could just take out fools all day with my missiles. And it doesn't even matter. All I have to do is concentrate! Look at that. Sniping them from all the way over there. They just don't know what to do. But with a little concentration, bam, missiles are all back. See, that is such an excellent feature. What the hell was that? Holy shit. Overshot, overshot, come on. Lethal strike! Well, that was pretty simple. Is there another one? Yes, there is. There's two of them. Come on, we want to get a lethal strike. No, we don't want to be hit by an armadillo. There we go. Come on, you armored dildo. Put up a fight. Lethal strike! Oh wow, I think his friend even got hit by recoil damage. That's ridiculous. Keep using those sense moves, guys. Just keep on tapping on the directional pad. I don't know if you could consider that to be spamming, but I don't. Because you have to tap within good timing. It, that's the difference between spam and something that's well-programmed. Lethal strike. Is that it takes great timing to pull off. And it can't just be done by simply mashing one button. Unlike Pokemon Rumble, 
where two or one is the victory button. I can't speak for Rumble Blast yet because I haven't tried that one, but Metroid Other M is not like that at all. Okay, so that door is locked. We're going to have to climb up this perspective. Just one miss, one more missile for good measure. Alright, there's really not much we can do in this room. Oh, but wait. We can hop up here. And gain a missile tank. So that's good. Um trying to think aside from that we might be able to do something in here maybe lay down your power bombs to defeat all the enemies here oh yeah that's right you can actually go into your normal perspectives here it's a pretty freaking beast I feel like I'm in the exhibit Except this is not supposed to be an exhibit. This is an overrun facility. Uh, yeah, so there was nothing useful in here. Okay, never mind. Oh, and that's a cool thing I forgot to mention. If you charge up a beam fully charged and then go into your morph ball form, you drop a bunch of power bombs. Alright, well, if we can't go that way... Hmm. How exactly are we going to go? Because this... This panel is closed. Or not accessible to us at all. So, in order for us to go anywhere... Super missiles. Where am I going to get super missiles from? Adam didn't authorize that. Great. Do I have to take all these enemies out or something? That's probably the case. Let's do that right now. Elimination! All of you mofos get out of here. I remember this being a, a point of pause for me in my first run, too. Oh, they keep just burrowing out of the ground. That's bullshit. Hold on. Yeah, there's no way to go back up, so... Alright, well, Adam, you see everything we see. Right? So... You gotta see this door here. You gotta see this door here, man. Uh, it's locked. This door is locked. That door is locked. Not sure where you want me to go, buddy. A little bit of uh, friendly advice would be nice. Because uh, these missiles that I have, not doing it. I can't even charge my missiles up, so. Any advice, buddy? Any advice I don't wait? No, I can't go anywhere else. Oh! Aha! I didn't see this hatch before. Wow, was that a hatch that... Hmm. Hopefully I didn't waste too much time there. Hmm. The breeding room. What went on here? The large cage-like booth looked like something had been raised in it. And in one corner was the miserable form of a researcher's corpse. This victim hadn't sustained the same injuries. The dead I'd seen had been torn apart by something large. This one had been attacked by a different type of creature. 
and as I studied the violence this creature had wrought, I felt something in the air, the presence of a dark intelligence. Thanks. 